Hey, it's Kasim with Nino Marketing, and I'm here with Courtney of Pache Montessori. Uh, she's been a longtime member. Courtney, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thrilled to have you. And uh, what I'd love to, to do, if you don't mind, is I just want to give people a sense as to what it's like to work with Nito. Um, and from your view specifically, some of the things that we might have helped um, with, uh, you know, just in terms of in, not just digital marketing, but any processes or content or any of the things that you're, you're taking us up on. Um, so if you don't mind a quick kind of painting of the picture, where were you right before you hired Nito? Um, and then what sort of prompted you to, to take the plunge? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so when we were becoming Pache, we were, we were originally um, part of a larger organization of Montessori schools, and we were creating our own brand identity and our own school and culture um, in becoming Pache. And part of that process was we had no marketing department or team or even person. And um, I had seen you speak at the Montessori conference um, a year or two years ago. It, I can't even recall we're in this pandemic and time seems to not matter anymore. Um, but that really struck a, a chord with me. And I felt that because Nido is a Montessori organization, there are so many intricacies about Montessori, how we market ourselves, how we explain ourselves to the public and that Nido really just got that. Um, especially as we were, doing all of these things to turn over into our new name and brand and school, marketing seemed like the very last thing that any of us could do or creating or building a website seemed like, oh my gosh, how would we ever go about that um, while doing all of these other things and juggling, you know, running a school. And that's really where Nido came in and being able to communicate with Nido in the way that it, you all already got it. You all already knew about Montessori. So it was so much more efficient when we absolutely had such a short deadline and timeline and, and Nito was so flexible in meeting that. So that was really what prompted us going into it. And the, the resources as we have be kind of become our own new school in so many different ways, all of the different resources that being a plain member we get through Nito, the webinars, the, the created content, the social posts, all of that just makes everything so much easier and again more efficient to actually do those things rather than feeling like it's yet another thing on our to-do list that we never get to. So that has been, you know, it makes us feel good that we're able to accomplish all these things, but it's really truly Nito that is supporting that effort. So thank you so much for that feedback. That's just thrilling to hear. Is, and, and there might not be an answer to this, but did you notice any tangible differences that you could share with folks like a before and an after, you know, increased admissions, more parent engagement, any of those things? Yeah, I think immediately we've seen We've seen from our current families and prospective families, the biggest change that we've seen is the education piece. Feeling like they are really understanding Montessori in a much more profound, deeper way. So that whole process of, of blogs and social posts and, you know, we use a lot of the email templates and blog templates to, for our current families in our newsletters as well. That that really helps us in terms of not having to work so hard um, when someone is interested in the school, right? They, are, they, they click that interested contact us button already knowing so many important things about how we approach education and what our pedagogy is. And in addition to that, then when they become a parent or our current parents going into this, they have such a, a language and knowledge of Montessori when they're talking to their friends. And it's created such a deeper, more important homeschool partnership, um, knowing the way that we're going about things in the classroom. That has been so important for us, especially um, our current families. And, and we see it in just how the child is more independent when they come to us or when their parents really understand the importance of all these different factors, why coming to school on time is important is another example. And that, that makes our teachers' lives 
much smoother and much, you know, more joyful when they're not having to put all of that effort in, you know, to, to explain to parents constantly. So that has been, that has been lovely, honestly, to see it and to have that experience. That's fantastic. Thank you, Courtney, so much. So uh, let's turn the tables a little bit. Um, we're not right for everybody. Obviously, I don't think any agency could or would be. Um, if somebody were interested in hiring Nito, what are, what are the things they need to be aware of? What are maybe any of the negatives or things that we could do better? Like, let's um, approach it from that angle. Yeah, I think some of the things that we we um, have learned through the process, like, you know, being a school that works with Nito, um, it's, there. there's still a level that you have to do as a school, right? And I, I think that that, being clear going into that as a school, right? Like we're, you're not handing over the keys to the kingdom to Nito. Like we still have to be a part of it. And um, there's, I've struggled a little bit with m meeting deadlines and adhering to deadlines. So, you know, I, the way that I work is always like, I need somebody knocking on my office door being like, hey, you're late. What, what's going on, you know, and I think Nito is so kind and compassionate that sometimes I need that, but everyone works a little bit differently. Um, and having, I think it is helpful going into any of it, having an understanding of marketing to begin with, you know, to, to learn the terms or to understand what your goals are or Google ads versus face, you know, all of these different things. So I think, you know, that, um, that on the forefront, knowing that, that, you know, Nito's not going to teach you as a school, everything that you need to know, like there's still a responsibility there that, um, you know, I think that I kind of went into it like, oh, I'll hand everything over. Right. And, and then, and then learned that that's not how it should be or <laughs> can be. Um, so I think that that, you know, if, if that answers some of that, I think. No, that is, I think, really good feedback. And I, I love the way that you put it to, there's a, a partnership at place and um, schools end up, you know, we do a lot of the heavy lifting, but schools end up still needing to customize a lot of the content or provide us with feedback. So it's not a, a set it and forget it model, sadly. Right, yeah. Which I don't think could ever be the case, you know. Especially well, not with Montessori. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, we could do it with kinder care, but they don't have, they don't have as much to offer, so. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Courtney, thank you so much. Really grateful to you for being a member and for, for shooting this video. I know that these aren't everybody's most favorite thing, but the whole world's getting a little more acclimated to them with yes. COVID, so. We, we all are, especially us Montessorians trying to do virtual story times and things like that. So you're, we're, we're happy to do it. Awesome. Well, grateful to you, and um, we'll see you next. All right, sounds good. See ya.